Hey guys, James here today and welcome to Planet Zoo. Today we're going to be playing the beta that has, I think, just ended. But uh, I finally got a chance to play it because I've been away at TwitchCon where I was able to stream it from there as well. But now that I have some time to sit down and play it at home, I thought we would check it out. So I've been playing with this zoo. I've only got two exhibits. It's pretty limited right now. But it's going pretty well. Like I've got some ostriches in here and we've got some spring box. They're kind of all just chilling out. Everyone's pretty... Oh. Okay, well, I was gonna say they were pretty happy until right now. It's a little bit stressed because um, these guys like a bit of privacy, but that's why I've built this little screen over here that I put in so that they could go into their cave. Um, yeah, so Planet Zoo, by the way, is all about building and managing a zoo, but it's not really about the profit or anything like that. Most of the game revolves around keeping the animals happy, uh, and that is kind of pretty much what everything depends on. Like, you don't have any guests if the animals aren't happy. Like, if you're not taking care of them and making sure they're okay, no one wants to come and see a sad animal or see animals mistreated so that's really good and the other really cool thing about this is this game is really heavy on like actually teaching you about the animals too so if there's something that the animals are happy about if you come into the zoopedia here it has all this information about you know the real animal where they're from what they like you know and how that's all going to relate to making the best environment for them what we got to do like i've got pretty lame i gotta be, i gotta be honest i mean all look all animals are cool but we've got some pretty lame animals Th if this was a real zoo it's pretty lame because we've only got some indian peafowls uh which by the way golden golden is the best uh level they're pretty good quality uh, and they've got some little i guess are they would they be called chicks i don't know they've, they've had some little babies oh, whoops <laughs> we can click on it they had little babies uh and we've sort of been trading them out as well because what you can do is like um this game's all about conservation as well like if you breed and raise animals you can release them to the wild or you can trade them with other zoos so they can keep their breeding programs going too so that's pretty cool uh, also it looks like they need some more food so let's call a keeper in uh, but yeah, I want to have a look at getting some new animal. I, we need a big uh, draw to the zoo. This is pretty lame. There's not a lot going on here right now. So we're going to order our animal market by the appeal. And also, I don't really have many conservation credits. So these credits down here is what we can get animals with if we're doing a good job uh, with conservation. I'm not currently because we don't have many animals. So I'm going to have to use money to get something. And I think I saw some pretty good animals in here. Well, pretty... I guess, appealing animals in here, but not necessarily the best. Ooh, hippos. <laughs> Everyone knows how well I did with those. Though they're both female. Like, ideally, I kind of want to get a male and a female. Ooh, get some grizzlies. Yeah, so this is where we can see their stats, and they're not the best. Ooh, very fertile, though. You know what? I'm just going to grab you, hopefully, quickly. This is like... This is like an online mode of the game. Uh, they will have a single... Uh, like, single-player offline mode as well, but... Mm, go. Give me... I need both bears. Okay, okay, we got both bears. Uh, yeah, we kind of, I kind of want a male and a female because then we can, you know, conserve them, make them quite happy. Now, before we start building their habitat, I do want to check what kind of size we're after. So if we go in here, we can see how much room they need. So 750 square meters. We can see sort of what temperature they like as well. Uh, the amount of water and all that. And it looks like they need a grade four barrier, which I don't really know that I have. Oh no, it's grade five. Okay, yeah, yeah, So we, yeah, we definitely need a better fence for them. So if we use the brick one here, that this will be the best uh, fence for our grizzlies. I think we're gonna put it in this area here because we've already got this sort of section built out a little bit. And we probably wanna make the fence a little bit taller. Just, just to be safe. I wonder if this is going to be enough. Yeah, this will be... I think if we do something like this, I think we're going to have enough space. Okay, this is what we're going to do instead. We'll have that sort of corner piece there. Now we can also check how big this place is, because we need to make sure it's still the right size. And we do that by... If we get a gate on this, probably a better gate. Uh, we'll put this around... Oh, actually, where... So we're, all our keeper huts and stuff are over here. We might need to build a new area that's closer by, so... Uh, might do a gate over here. So that's a big part of this game as well, is making sure all the facilities are sort of as close by as possible. Otherwise, they're going to take too long to get there. So we want to make sure that we've got that. But now we can see how big our enclosure is. Oh, we've made this massive. Okay, this is way bigger than it needs to be. Which is not a bad thing, it just means it's going to be nicer. <laughs> so we're going to select all these fences here. We're actually going to turn them into glass, because then the guests can see through. And why don't we try lodge, wood, horizontal path. Why don't we try getting one that is going to be a sweet path that sort of goes above the exhibit. Oh, our ostrich has given birth! Oh, look at the little chicks. I don't know if they're called chicks. I keep calling them that, but there they are. New little babies! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get a pathway. 
It's actually going to go across the habitat like that. That's pretty cool. I actually quite like that. Uh, and then obviously we'll have to do some landscaping in here to make it look nicer. But for now, that's what it's going to be. And then if we can get this pathway maybe joining somewhere. Actually, I wonder, you know what? Maybe what we should do. Let's do a little bit of landscaping because this, this whole zoo doesn't need to be flat. It's all quite flat at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe we bring up a hill here. So if we bring up this whole section of land here and then... Uh, if we do some smoothing here, hopefully make this look a little bit more like a pathway could actually go up it. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get something that looks a little bit better. So I've sort of got the pathway coming up around the back and then we almost... Oh, mechanic research is complete. We've been doing some research. What did I learn? I learned uh, one new barrier, I guess. What did we get? Can I see? Ooh, what do I do with this? Just a big stone fence. Sweet, cool. <laughs> That's good. All right, yeah, so I've just sort of curved the pathway up and around. And then we have this sort of viewing platform that comes over the top, which I think is pretty cool. Now, I'm actually kind of wondering, maybe we should not have such a big viewing area down the bottom. Maybe if I edit this barrier, I'm going to turn this back into regular wall. Just because I kind of want to encourage people to come up and use my viewing platform. So we'll have one here, but I think... I almost want to make it smaller. So I think this section here will do like a little window there. So they can see them down the bottom, but you'll be like, mm, I don't know, we could probably get a better view from up the top. And I think I actually might cut the exhibit down a little bit because we, we were already building it too big anyway. So make sure it's still a good size. It is still huge, so that's fine. I think it was just a little too big. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So what I would like to do, I think, is add... I think I want this window to like look into a cave where the bears can sort of go and like hide out a little bit. So we're going to use the terrain tools, which by the way are epic in this game. If you've, if you've seen like the terrain tools in this game... Uh, they kind of like do, you know, if you feel like it, do it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> when it gets a little bit messy, it's not great, but, um, actually, you know what we'll do instead of doing this, because this is going to be a little bit more difficult. I think we'll just use some rocks and we'll start placing those around. Let's actually, let's put the bears in there because once we do that, we can also start researching them and learn some more things about them. And we can also know exactly what kind of flora and fauna that they want in there. Like we can look it up. Uh, through the Zoopedia, but I sometimes find it a little bit easier just to get these guys actually in there. All right, so we should probably also, now that we're doing that, you know, get out of that, is uh, connect up this pathway. Which I'm trying to see. I think if we maybe have a staff path that comes here alongside my frog house, which I've, <laughs> I never put a roof on, we should probably do that at some point. That's my staff path that gets over to this exhibit. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess this could be some other exhibit. I'm not sure what yet, but I'll probably just delete that pathway because I don't think we'll have anything there except another exhibit. Uh, so anyway, for now that goes there. That will allow them to get the bears in there. So I'm going to unpause. Uh, we, uh, we gotta make sure we're still making money. That's uh, something you gotta be really careful is that we, you know, still making money. Let's get some donation bins because this is how you get money for the exhibit animals or like for the habitats and all that. So I'm gonna get some up the top as well because hope I'm hoping people come up the top. I don't know that they will. We'll see though. Here they come. They're gonna be put in here and what we might now see is, well, first of all, the bears are obviously here, but we'll be able to see what they actually want. The terrain is not suited for them at all. So we're gonna... Just pause the game so we can do this quickly. There's way too much long grass. They don't want any. They want some soil. They want some rock. So I'm actually just going to go over the whole exhibit right now, or the whole habitat. Just make it rock. It's too much rock, I know, but I'm just going to get rid of all the long grass because it still even says now that there's still some long grass around the edges. So we're going to try and get rid of all of that, which now they look much happier. And then we're going to sort of mix in some short grass as well because they still like that and it looks kind of nice. So we'll get some of that in. And then also some soil as well. There's not enough of that. There's a little bit too much rock still. So we get some soil through here. And then that should make them quite happy with their little environment here. They've got plenty of space as well. Uh, and then the environment, uh, the coverage is not so good. So we need some more plants. So we need to have a look at what plants they like as well. So they are from the North American continent. So we're going to filter by continent North America. And it looks like their biomes are going to be, what is that? Like, um, I don't know, tiger, temperate and tundra. All right, so any of these will be good uh, for the bears. So I think some of these trees will be really nice. Uh, what? Are, yeah, so what I want, I want to build a cave over here. So we'll sort of plan on doing that. I think we'll have to unpause actually to see some of this update sometimes. Get some nice trees for them. There they go. Maybe some of the... Ooh, that's actually maybe a little too big. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's... No, nope, that's too much. Uh... Maybe this guy here? Oh yeah, this is good. So they, these guys are getting much happier with the big trees. Okay, so that's enough coverage. And then we can put some more like smaller plants in there later on. But for now, I just want to make sure that they're happy in general. They don't have any enrichment. That's because we actually need to 
research uh, the bears first. Kind of like we we're researching Springbok, so let's actually like swap our guy over to there. See if we can find some stuff that the bears like. I think that it might also be too warm for them, because what you'll notice is they're actually sitting underneath this, which it might actually be a little bit cooler there. Yeah, you can see it's actually a bit cooler underneath that because it's in the shade, which is also a really cool feature, by the way. Uh, but I think it's going to be too warm for them. So when we looked in the Zoopedia earlier, I believe we saw that their temperature was like minus 10 to like something. Was their preferred temperature? I can't remember. Minus 10 to 28 degrees Celsius. So that's kind of where we want it to sit. And I think right now it's much too hot for them. So we want to go for our habitat and then we want to get the heaters and coolers. I'm going to get some small coolers. I wonder if I can put these. Oh, I can hide them underneath. That's actually quite cool. So I'm going to put one there and I might even just chuck one over here as well. I'm just going to put them there so they're like a little bit hidden. And then I think we'll set it to not zero degrees, maybe like around, probably around 20 degrees would be fine then. Uh, might, they might be happy around there. Because it doesn't need to be freezing. No, you know what? Let's get down to 15. Let's get make it nice and chilly. I don't know how realistic this is. Probably not very, but you know, it's fine. So range of 20. We might need some more of these, so we'll see how much this actually uh, cools down for them. And then, of course, we're also going to need to do some... Uh, I guess, I wonder if that's the temperature that they like. Or that's as good as it can be, or is that just a random number? Uh, and then we'll also need to make sure they actually have food, because we haven't done that food or water. So let's have a look at food and water. Actually, you know what I'm also going to do? I'm just going to pause real quick. I'm going to get some more uh, zookeeper huts and everything just around here so that they can prepare the food a lot closer to them. Now, I've also got to be careful of money because this obviously all costs a little bit. But I'm going to get a keeper hut that goes right here that's right next door to their habitat. And then I might also get a staff building so that they can have a rest right next door as well. Because we're going to need someone to take care of them right here. And then we want to make sure that they can actually eat and drink out of the stuff that we're giving them. So we're going to get a grizzly bear and we're going to select what they want. Food tray. We might as well just get a large food tray. And you know what? I think we'll do it... Uh, I'll do it over here because then maybe... I kind of want to encourage people to come up the top. Because at the moment they're obviously all crowding around the one window. I really want people to come around here though. We might even just close that window at some point if they're all crowding there. And we'll get a more water pipe. I do actually, you know what, let's build like a little lake because I wanted to do that anyway. So let's do like a little lake, maybe just around here. Nothing too big. Although we have to make sure we filter the water because otherwise it won't be, uh, otherwise the water gets dirty over time if we're not keeping it clean. And we do have a water filter, I think over here somewhere. So, oh, this will be already filtered by this one, which is perfect. So putting water here will already be filtered for us. We don't need to worry about it. So then we can just fill that up a little bit. We might want to smooth the edges a little bit because it looks a little. We can also just get some like little plants around the edge too. We also got to be make, we got to make sure that we're not doing too much coverage because they won't like it if we do too many plants. But I think we can probably get away with just making the edge of this lake look a little bit nicer than it is. A little bit of short grass maybe just around the lake because I feel like the water would make it nice and grassy. And then maybe in here as well we can just do a little bit of soil because it's in the lake, you know. Beautiful. And now let's see if we've made them unhappy by doing that because <laughs> we might have. Oh no, they're actually still quite happy. Coverage is still good. That's looking a little bit nice. And I got a little lake over there to enjoy. And if people come up the top, they'll get a really good view of it. But, oh, so I put a bush in the middle. I might just move that out of there. Let's move that to the side. Uh, they'll get a really good view of it. But it seems like everyone wants to go to this one window. So I don't know about that. They actually already have enough shelter to cover the animals. But I do, like I said, I do want to actually build a cave over here. So we're going to use some of these like larger flat rocks to create a roof. So we're going to sort of like put these up the top like this. And then we can use obviously some of the bigger boulders for the walls and all that. And this is basically what I'm going to be doing is just building... A cave for them to use. Dude, even I want to live in this cave. Look at this thing. I got a sweet little cave entrance here. I mean, sure, there's maybe a few too many people looking in. But the cool thing you can do is you can actually research one-way glass so people can see in. But, you know, animals don't see the people looking at them. Which is definitely something that I'll want to do later on. Because it's a little unsettling to have, you know, maybe that many people looking at you. But I think it's uh, it's going to be a cool little... Uh, little area for the bears here, I think. Or at least I'm hoping they're going to like it. Physically cool. And also just... Emotionally cool. All right, that is what I call a cave. I just, I'm just gonna move this tree a little bit here at the back because it is kind of 
sticking through it a bit too much. I'll just put that there instead. And then we go in here, and then I'm going to do probably some actual rock inside as well, because I think that makes kind of sense. And then if we go to habitat, and we go to like sleeping and shelter and all that, I think we're still filtered by the bear, right? Uh, grizzly bear, yeah. So they should be able to use this bedding as well if we put it in here. Hopefully they'll actually go in there and sleep. Now, are they still happy with this enclosure? I might have, again, we always got to check that I'm not sort of ruining it by doing these additions. I'm just going to unpause, make sure everyone's still happy. They are. They've got an epic cave. Uh, I'm really wanting people to go up there. You know what? I might just... Uh, I mean, you know what? Some people are going up there. Let's see. They might continue going up the top now. Low on cash. Yeah, hopefully we get, <laughs> we get some money here. Otherwise we're going to be in trouble. <gasps> They're going for a swim. Yeah. Oh, actually, we don't have a keeper that looks after this because I've assigned all my other keepers to work on the other habitats. So I'm going to hire another keeper for this zone, uh, with, for this um, this area. And I'm going to go for, I'm going to create a new work zone. So this keeper is going to use these facilities here to take care of the grizzly bears. And then they can also use, oh, actually, that's probably all they need to use. That's probably fine. So work zone three should be okay. So this guy here hopefully will now... Go ahead and take care of the grizzly bears for me. So hopefully they'll come in here. They'll be like, oh, they need some food. And then they'll go back and get some food and then fill up this tray here. Meanwhile, we should be researching some more stuff uh, so we can give the grizzlies some uh, enrichment. Because other than that, uh, they are going to be needing it. So they're a little bit hungry at the moment. That's okay. I'm hoping this guy is in here. Oh, yes. He's, so he's in here. He's preparing food for the grizzlies. You can see it's even meat. So depending on the animal, they will actually prepare different food. So this is actually a really cool thing about the game is like checking out up close what they're preparing. So they're preparing stuff for the bears. Still chopping it up and putting it in the bucket. And then we go to this person and then they... Hang on, let's uh, click on you. Can I, can I follow you? I think I can. Here we go. So then they'll come in here with the grizzlies. And we'll walk over and around all the way to their little food tray, which is over this way, which... The guests actually, actually, this is kind of cool. If you want to see them feed, you can't see them through that glass. You have to go up the top, which they are now at the top. Yeah. <laughs> so now the Grizzlies have some food, which is great. There's people up the top here as well. They're all standing here watching them, which is amazing. What do they think about it? There are no drink shops in the zoo. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, zoo adult tickets are underpriced. Oh, well, in that case, now that you mention it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Our zoo's not very good. I'll go up to like six bucks and like maybe five bucks for a child. I don't know. Uh, well, they're kind of just hanging out there. It's a beta after all. So, I mean, those guys are coming in. I want to see someone else coming in because how about you? What do you think about the zoo price? Hi, I'm trying to click on you. Lady? Nope. Hello? Can't seem to click on anyone now or anything. Hmm. That's a beta for you. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't even click any buttons in Planet Zoo anymore. <laughs> they, they don't do anything. All right, I got an Alt F4. I can't even. The, even the X button doesn't work. All right, I got to get a task manager. Okay, now I can actually click on stuff again, which is good. <laughs> um, yeah, so the bears have got food. They're looking pretty happy in here. I mean, well, I mean, this one kind of looks like it's dead. It's just sleeping. It's just sleeping. Uh, and then this other bear is chilling out over here. So hopefully if they're happy enough, they will actually, you know, have a little bit of woohoo. And then, you know, maybe we'll get some baby grizzlies. Oh, actually, we did also get some research for them. So we might actually have some enrichment items that they might like if we're lucky. Grizzly bear. Oh, yes, we got a rubbing pillar. Now, I'm going to put this in the cave because you can't see much from this window. But if they come in here to use the enrichment, then maybe... Uh, we'll get more people wanting to look through the window again. So you got a little rubbing pole in there now, and then that should make them quite a bit happier too. Let's have a look. So enrichment's now 45%. We do need to get some food enrichment, which we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, but now they might actually wander into the cave to use that. I am assuming there's enough room. Look how small this bear is. The, the female is tiny. But yeah, so their, their size gene is actually how big they are. So there's only 8% size. This guy is only 58%, so they could get a lot bigger than this too. Uh, aw, they love each other. The cool thing is, though, I actually quite like now that, because because I can't, it's actually really cool. Like, the game knows if they can see the animal through here. So no one is standing here, because no matter where you stand, you can't see the animal. So they all go around up the top. But if they were to be in there, then we'd probably see some people start looking in there. Oh, actually, can they see it from here? No, they're like, no, oh, there's no bear from here. They think there is, but there isn't, and you're wrong. And now they're eating. That's good. Okay, cool. So that's all looking pretty good to me. Oh, oh yeah, so this over here, this is like a really sad little area. Our poison frog. It's empty! Oh, did our frog die? 
alert. Maybe it got old and died. There was a frog in here. All right, well, let's get another one of those guys because they're fine. Here you go. 16 bucks. Here you go. Yay! All right, now this guy should be in here somewhere. I think, is this one quite small? Hel Roberto? Hello? I don't know where Roberto is. <laughs> it's supposedly selected. I don't, I don't know. They're trying to see him. <laughs> well, anyway, it's in there somewhere. Now they're loving it. Great. Okay, so yeah, also there's no roof on this thing, which I actually kind of wanted to do. We should have done that a long time ago. Uh, so let's get an asphalt roof. That'll be fine. There you go. Nice little, looks like a little shed now. It's beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Beautiful. It's most certainly a shed, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, there's some bear poo in here. Now, I really do want to see them go in the cave. I'm wondering if they can even get in there. I don't know if I made it too small to give you how to get in, so I might just give them a little bit more space. But I definitely want to see them go in there. Go use your cave, dude. You got like a bed and everything in there. It's gonna be beautiful. Actually, what's the temperature like in here? Did that work out in the end? It's a little warm near the edges, but I think, I mean, the majority of the area where they're gonna be hanging out uh, is a nice temperature, so I think that's quite good. <gasps> Ooh, are you gonna go in? Are you gonna go into the cave? Oh, yeah, go use it. Go use the sweet scratching post thing. Here we go. Oh, okay, the camera, okay, the camera does not fit in here very well. <gasps> yes, use it. It's like, mm, do I wanna use it? I don't know, the people are loving it though. The other bear's hanging out. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's standing up. Yay. I mean, mind your head. Yay! I wonder if the other one can use it. Maybe it can't because it's like too... Get another one out here. Because it's too tall, the other bear, maybe? I don't know. Get one over there. There you go. Use that one. Cool! Alright, so they can definitely use that. That's great to know. Inspector arriving in four months. Oh, we get some more research from the vet. Okay, cool. So this might be some more stuff for our grizzly bear. Well, it will be more stuff for the grizzly bear. Hopefully like some actual... Oh, yeah, we got a fire hose ball. And we got a... Oh, there we go. The roller feeder. So this will be some food enrichment that they will really enjoy. So I might put this, where can guests see this, which would be a good spot. Maybe even up around here a little bit. If we put it there, then they'll bears will come up here and they'll be able to see them right from that section. So let's call a keeper to hopefully go fill that up and then they'll be super happy. So these guys should now be actually be really, really happy. Everything's looking pretty good. Nutrition is good. The environment is good. The terrain is good. They're very happy with the amount of uh, bears in here too. So that is all. Oh, wait, what was that? The ostrich is pregnant! Oh god, we're gonna- actually, we're gonna have so many ostriches in here. <laughs> Don't we already have a bunch of babies in here somewhere? <laughs> There's already a few of them running around. Everyone- I think everyone's pretty happy in here, though. Springboks are pretty happy. I think this bear exhibit is sweet. They can come up the top. I think this is the coolest, though, from up here. And if we sort of jump into this camera here, we can, like, we can experience what it's like to be a guest as well. Look at this. Yeah, oh, actually, it might not be- hmm. Might not be the safest, <laughs> like our guests could probably jump over, get out of here, and then like climb into the exhibit. Maybe not super safe, but you know, let's hope that they don't do that. But yeah, we can see the bear sitting there. There's also bear poo. Can the keeper come and clean it up, please? Stop leaving bear poo everywhere. Thanks. <laughs> it's so cool though. Ah, oh, look at those donations. Yeah. The cool thing is you can sort of see how much you've gotten as well. This box alone has got 3,800. That's pretty good. This one's got 698. This one's got $18. Not many people stand there. So it's actually kind of interesting. You can kind of gauge where most people are standing. That one, no one uses that one. This one is where everybody stands. And this over here, this is going to be pretty good, right? 42,000 has been donated through this single bin. Damn, 23 through that one. That's actually really cool. I love that you can see that. 24,000. That's just a regular bin. <laughs> Please don't chuck your money into regular bands. 9,000 over here. And 7,000. Sweet. I guess probably for these guys, we probably didn't need such a high barrier. Like some animals, you can have like a really sh like short barrier. That'd be fine. Like if you got like tortoises or something. Oh, yes. The other bears in the cave. Dude, they love this cave. Oh, oopsie doopsie. Hey, the ostrich gave birth again. Uh, dude, you gotta... Okay, where's like a keeper or something to take care of this? This place is getting real messy. Where... <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's the keep. Are you gonna clean up now? Because this place is just... okay. Bye. This guy's fixing the fence, which is fine. Ooh, vet research complete. Sweet. We got some more bear stuff. Um, yeah, it would be good though if you like cleaned the habitat, please. It's really dirty in here. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Not all right. There's just like poo everywhere. 
Ooh, he's going in for a butt sniff. Oh, is this going to be Grizzly Bear Woohoo? <gasps> oh, so cute. Are they, I mean, they like it. I think they like each other at least. That seems good. They're at least hanging out together. Come on. Oh. I saw some grizzly bear cubs. Okay, fine. Maybe later. Now, is this, yeah, is this keeper gonna also clean the exhibit or is that not a thing? Uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I think we're gonna leave this here. This is a pretty small look at Planet Zoo. But this is just the beta, so there's gonna be a lot more coming to the game. It comes out November 5th, and I can tell you what, I'm definitely gonna be playing it. I hope you guys wanna see more, because I'm definitely gonna be building like a zoo from scratch. We're also gonna for sure be playing through like the career and campaign and all that, because I really, really wanna do that. But this is just the little beta zoo that I've been playing around with, having a bit of fun with breeding some animals and all that. But uh, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you do wanna see more, please, let me know in the comments down below when this game comes out we'll play more because unfortunately now the beta is ended so there's not much more we can do with it because I can't play it anymore mm. but I think the, bris the grizzly bear habitat we built is pretty cool I'm pretty happy about that and people seem to love it we're making a bunch of money now too it's great but thanks for watching guys I will see you next time and have an awesome day